quick. And today I want to talk about natural ways to reduce stress because I've been seeing this like in groups and all over my timeline about how people need some natural support in order to reduce stress. So I looked up some things and actually interestingly enough, I had an appointment with um, a local hospital and they were talking about how they want to do more integrative medicine. And so we were talking about how I could work with them and give them some more solutions. And they were talking about some of the things that they already do. And they're really excited to incorporate some additional natural solutions. So exciting. And I'll keep you guys posted as we try to do that. But some of the things that I came across, one of the things is there are lots of herbal remedies so that's something that I do all the time um, I like to have my sleepy time tea which has different herbs in it there's other herbs that you can grab and try to take such as like st. John's wort ginkgo um, by loba those are two that have been statistically in their scientific data that helps with reducing stress but as with anything that you're going to take, make sure you do consult your doctor. I'm not a doctor and I'm not here to give any medical advice whatsoever. Another thing that people have gotten into recently is acupuncture or there's different variations of that, like going to a cranial sacral. I do that as well. In fact, I need to make an appointment. Like usually when I'm talking about something on here, it's because it's something I need to remind myself of. So um, past three months have been super stressful for me, and so I'm reminding myself of some of the things that I need to do to reduce my stress levels. So acupuncture is an ancient Chinese method, and it is known for healing and preventing and curing specific diseases, and it stimulates certain points in your body and helps your body to resist and overcome illness by correcting imbalances. So there are, again, clinical studies that show that this is effective. Reflexology is another one. So reflexology is using the nerves and the hands and the feet, which are related to various parts of your body, to help the healing process. So it's been known to help with reduction of stress. And exercise. Exercise is something that I make sure that I do every day. Today I woke up, I did a little um, exercise program that's part of one of the programs that I'm doing from YouTube, I did my stretching, and then I actually went to a Pilates class. So exercise is one of the major ways to reduce stress. So if you can just get up 15 minutes early and start with that, doing 15 minutes of exercise, that's so helpful. It increases your energy level, helps with balance and flexibility, which makes things easier for you. It helps you to relax. But again, always consult your doctor. Make sure you're not overstressing yourself. Massage, massage therapy. So as I was discussing with this hospital, that's one thing that they've already integrated as they're looking to integrate more things. Um, they have a massage therapist that comes three times a week in their oncology area in order to reduce the stress level of the individuals that are there. So massage helps promote relaxation. It decreases tension. It decreases stress. It helps release serotonin, release dopamine, and decrease cortisol levels. So massage is something that definitely needs to be part of your self-care so that you can reduce your stress levels. Another one is music therapy. So music has been shown to reduce stress levels as well. And then guided imagery and relaxation so there's actually coaches that can do that with you they can guide you through a mental escape so that you can think and have the imagery of things that are very relaxing and stress-free and then um, mindfulness breathing techniques meditation there's different words for how people use it but making sure that you do 10 minutes a day where you just quiet your mind, you do some deep breathing, you focus on something that has been shown to reduce your stress levels as well. And then of course, there are all types of other um, natural things that you can do, such as using essential oils. So there's so many, so many essential oils that have been shown to be able to be relaxing and reduce normal stress levels that people experience. And today, if you guys did not know yet, we are having 
a class at the Big B in Dearborn. It's at 6.30 tonight. It's open to everyone. So hopefully you have that on your calendar if you follow me and you knew about that. And if you don't, that's still, you know, an hour from now. Plenty of time to grab a snack and head over there. So if you're anywhere in southern Oakland County or Wayne County or even if you're um, a little bit further than that, we would love for you to join us at the Big B in Dearborn. Again, I will post that underneath. And we are precisely talking about how to find joy. So we're going to be discussing these techniques and details. This was just a little taste for you guys. But if you want an hour worth of information, detailed information on natural ways to reduce your stress levels, then be sure to join us tonight there. As usual, I thank everyone for joining me. If you know anyone that needs some support, if you know anyone that wants to know natural ways to reduce their stress, please, please, please share this video with them. Share it on your page. Share it directly with them. As usual, I thank everyone for joining me. And everyone have a wonderful day. And if you are not doing so yet, please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more detailed information like this in English and Spanish. Have an amazing day, everybody. Bye.